What's up guys? This is Go Electric Adventures with another video. Today I am at a uh, local park and I am going to do some light trail riding. Nothing too extreme or crazy, just some gravel roads, maybe some grass, and uh, we'll see how it goes. It's the first time I've actually taken the uh, Nan Robot Lightning out to any type of trail. I have done a little bit of grass riding inside of my neighborhood. Uh, just to kind of test it out, but that's the extent of what I've done so far So today we're going to test it out a little bit more and kind of see how that goes Hopefully we're able to uh, get some good footage here. Uh, I was kind of looking these clouds They don't look that bad. The, uh, they were looking a little bit dark at one point So that got me a little concerned because we definitely don't want to ride in the rain That is uh bad for electrical scooters and uh, especially since my scooters are not rated for rain at any rate uh, let's get the scooter out and um, let's get a little footage for today That's nice and tight. And I think that's it. See if the door is locked. And I was able to, so, but at any rate, the uh, housing on the light here was rattling. And I thought I was gonna have to request a new assembly from, uh, I mean, from, uh, Roadrunner scooters, but it turns out it was just this this outer rim here See how it's, it turns so apparently when I received it it wasn't tight So as I was right it was like driving me crazy, but uh, I fixed that so Hopefully that will not be an issue today It only allows me to get it so tight, but I think it's tight enough that it won't cause any problems It actually looks pretty good next to my vehicle. I love my vehicle, by the way. All right, but we're not here to talk about that, so. Now, one thing I, I tried to do on my way here was uh, check the park rules and make sure that you can ride scooters or uh, any electrical vehicles, um, but they didn't have any information on the website. So, you know, not for lack of trying, I didn't find anything. So we'll kind of check some of the postings uh, as we as we walk up to the trail Ready to signal out here. I need to turn my screen brightness up so I can see it out here. It's pretty bright out here All right, and this time I am going to start my speedometer app which tracks my trip kind of tells me I want to see that ad. Hold on I hate ads I'm not gonna pay the fee for uh, The uh, full app on everything until I have used it enough and actually know that I like it. But again, I don't know how great you can see that because of the brightness of the sun out here, but this app, I've already clicked start and uh, it's gonna track the distance uh, and our speed. It's gonna track our average speed, current speed, what max speed we're hitting. And uh, it has GPS in it, so it'll uh, keep track of where we are and uh, like, you know. So, car locked up. Now, since uh, I know I'm, I will be, uh, oh, oh, got the kickstand up. Seaborn Natural Nature Park. All right, prohibited within any city park, smoking, tobacco products, alcoholic beverages, glass containers, and drones. This is not a drone. Does not say anything about motorized scooters, uh, e-bikes, or anything like that. So I think we are good to go. Um, if anybody stops me, I can easily say, hey, there's nothing on the website and no signs posted that say I can't be out here. So, all right, let's get going. Oh man, look how much power this thing has. Whew. Okay. 
beautiful. All right, this thing pulls. All right, this is such light gravel, I probably don't even need dual motors on here. Take a little grass. Get off the beaten path a little bit. Saw something like floating in front of me. And it's actually floating, not caught in a spider web. That was my concern is that it was a spider web, not run through it and um, get a face full of web. And there is a spider web. Bunch of spider webs. I can't tell if it's hanging in front of here. One thing I do know is that since I am on this scooter, this lifts me up about, you know, wish I knew that measurement. It's probably about uh, just shy of uh, 510. So, uh, man, that's uh, pretty high up there. And I'm not sure how many people out here on the trail uh, are 6'6 six, six or 6'5 six, or whatever that is, 6'8. Six, six, oh, crap. That was a big one. Man. Scooter just pulls. I want to go through there. I want to try to check, check out a single motor and see how that works because dual motor is like is ripping this this gravel up, man. It's, it's having no problem going over any of this. So I'm checking this assembly again here. So now it's just this part actually bouncing. So uh, uh, I did mention this in one of the previous videos. That Road Runner scooters, I reached out to them and they, custom service is excellent. Uh, I reached out to them within a couple hours, somebody contacted me back and um, there's this, and this design was just poor. Uh, China made, everything else is constructed great, but this one part right here, the headlight, the headlight itself, as far as the way it projects light, is excellent. Uh, and I actually uh, posted a video, kind of showing the, the lights at night um and the lighting is exceptional uh the way that they did that is is really good but the actual mounting part of it they uh slacked off a little bit so i'm not sure whose idea that was but you know to to have the mount set up like that where it's just on this one little bracket and it's not secured on the back end in any kind of way that was a poor design and poor choice especially on such a, a high-end scooter so now I'm in single motor. Uh, the only thing that's going to go is the uh, is the rear wheel. <laughs> that is great, man. I love a whole little <laughs> little dirt path there. Little hole mark from where I made that little 360. Let me put my kickstand up before I break it. All right, so that was fun. All right, I will go back around here towards the car. Now, you know what? We'll just go this way. But yeah, for 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 this uh this trail, since it's so light, it's just gravel. And uh, like I said, there's a little grass. Single motor is fine. Dual is overkill. Um, now, maybe if I was riding through the grass, single motor might fail me. Now, this thing has no power that it even takes the grass fine. I'm going to the higher part of the grass. And I mean effortlessly, it's handling it. Single motor. Uh, when I was in dual motor, it was just like throwing me all over the place. And uh, I was spending more time trying to trying to uh, control the scooter than doing anything else. So in single motor, it's allowing me to actually enjoy the ride a little bit uh, without trying to like, uh, like I said, control the scooter, trying to con control the torque. Uh, control the the power output. It's beautiful out here. This feels so much different. Yeah, single motor is perfectly fine out here. I mean, I don't want to go too fast on this stuff, but. I'm up to about 17 miles an hour. I'm gonna slow it down a little bit. 
if for nothing else, just because of the amount of vibration uh, that's happening. Uh, you know, I want to ride the scooter for a long time, so definitely don't want to damage it unnecessarily. So I'll slow it down about 10 to 12 miles an hour. And that's plenty fast on this uh, gravel road. All right, I'm just gonna take in a little bit of this nature. It's beautiful. dips in that grass. Man, that's a bubbles. There was some parts over there where the sand got kind of deep. And that single motor was uh, struggling a little bit. I could hear it kind of whining, whining a little bit more than normal. I was looking for some warning signs. You have warning signs about like snakes or alligators, that sort of thing. I think I'm going to do, do it more than now because, yeah, the single motor is starting to spin out in a lot of this deep sand, recycled water in use here. Yeah, thought it was something more interesting. Oh, man. Oh, this thing's kicking out. So that's more of a control thing on my end. The scooter has plenty of power. All right, I'm feeling some rain droplets, which we definitely do not want. So I am going to go back and uh, start making my way back to the vehicle. We're gonna cut this short. So I hate to damage the scooter by getting it too wet. I'm sure it can handle some light rain but I'd rather play it safe and I just go ahead and take this right here. Oh yeah, I'm definitely feeling some rain droplets. Here's something in the grass moving around over there. Oh man, yeah. Handling it, no problem. All right. Woo. All right, I had to have to cut this short, you guys, but it is what it is. Uh, what is the quickest way back? Yeah, you definitely got to be careful on this and watch how much power you oh yeah all right so we made it back if I know nothing else about this scooter is that it can handle way more than they say it can All right, since we're back so early and the rain hasn't completely come down, we'll just do some laps around the parking lot here. And all that shaking, I think has 
loosen the rim around my light again because I can hear it rattling at this point oh ah. I leaned on the trigger and I almost lost my scooter but uh, I don't know alright I'm gonna hop down this uh, little cliff or drop off right here and uh, hop the scooter a little bit test it out and you know test its limits a little bit and then we'll head back because I am feeling more and more rain droplets as you can see on here so oh yeah that's a nice little incline right there I kind of want to try some deeper ones what the hell we're here Oh, that rattle is annoying the hell out of me. So when I get my package, oh. <laughs> I <ain't> took it. <laughs> That's my foot placement was bad because I almost fell off though. So this time we will have to kind of dust off and clean the scooter up a little bit because we got like some grass and stuff right here. So we'll... See, it's not loose. It's this whole thing is just. Yeah, it needs to be some kind of something there. I think that's what they're, like maybe they're gonna have rubber on the inside of here and on the bottom. That's going to uh, help cushion that a little bit because that thing is just like bouncing everywhere. Now I have to clean out the car. Anyway, that is it for this video. I appreciate you guys staying tuned and watching, being with me. Uh, I didn't say this earlier, but it, you know, typical YouTube stuff, if you don't mind, like the video, subscribe to the channel. That would be greatly appreciated. It helps the channel, helps me. Uh, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.